how are we going to do things differently? How are we going to be more accessible? What do we, you know, how can we make this work in a way that it hasn't before? BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. The following is an excerpt from the Brain Gain Youngstown Leadership Series. The new podcast features conversations with local leaders who are focused on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. So the experience you've gained and the people you've interacted with, how has that, say, developed or enhanced your leadership style? Like what type of leadership style do you think you have today? I, I, I would call it, I don't know if it's technically a leadership style, but participatory, right? Oh, okay. More heads are better than one. Right, right. I like to bounce ideas off people. The pandemic has been really hard. It doesn't work well via Zoom, right? Yeah, right. But when something occurs or strikes my mind, like there's an opportunity that comes up or a challenge that comes up, I love to be able to sit with people and bounce the idea back and forth, right? So I think that that has really formed how I work. There are pros to that, of course, because people often feel like they're heard and you know, that they, 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 can, they can influence the direction of a policy or an organization or a practice or an idea, right? Um, the downsize is that I, and I think my, I know my staff would say that sometimes they feel I'm just not decisive enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because I, I want to, I want to get everybody's thoughts on this, right, right, before I move forward. So, you know, I think like any leadership style, you have your, it's got its yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah, good point. So, trying to figure out that balance is always a challenge. Is there, is there, are there some things that are so obvious that you just like plow forward or is, or is it? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's yeah. decisions that have to be made every day that you yeah. just, you just do, do them and them, don't think right. about them. Yeah. Right. I mean, but it's the, the bigger issues that impact others that, you know, we've gone through a lot of change over the past year with the pandemic, right? How are we going to do things differently? How are we going to be more accessible? What do we, you know, how can we make this work in a way that it hasn't before? Right. Um, so those kinds of things. What do we do in the return to office setting, right? What do we do? Like, what are you guys currently doing? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> exactly. um, it, all of the above. Yeah, all of the above. It, really, we're moving towards a hybrid way. We have functioned fairly effectively, I believe, uh, working remotely. Mm -hmm. So we know that can be done. And that, that was the lesson I learned. I think the lesson some of my teammates have learned is, yes, but we need that personal interaction to spur energy and creativity and have that back and forth. So we're trying to figure out what that balance is going to be. Um, all of us will be fully vaccinated this week. And so we are I'm looking at a transition plan to move into um, a kind of hybrid work mode. We're going to mm -hmm. test some things out policy wise and then look at how does that influence our more permanent personnel policy down the road. So we're going to take time to figure it out. I mean, we haven't learned anything through 2020 is, okay, you've got to keep planning, right? but you know you got to stay flexible. The interview you just watched is an excerpt from the Brain Gain Youngstown Leadership Series. The new podcast features conversations with local leaders who are focused on building a culture of entrepreneurship and promoting workforce development. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.